tell him that. What is up everybody, welcome back to another race in our NASCAR Heat Evolution Career Mode Series. Last race at uh, Sonoma, we finished 6th I believe, and uh, so that put us back up in a 13th place into the point standings for the championship. Right now we can make it in on points, but we do have that win, so we should be pretty much locked into the chase. Um, looks like we have like 10 races to go now, uh, we will be racing at Daytona, and as far as our team goes, we just bought, bought the engine shop. Uh, next we'll be buying the engine special so hopefully after this race we can go ahead and buy this which will give us a 2.1 horsepower improvement over that so that's what we're going to be shooting for for this upcoming race and uh, as far as sponsors go we have aspen dental with 7,000 a race and then snap fitness for a top 15 for a 12,000 a race so that's what we're looking at for that our primary sponsor changed over to this uh mechanics wear so we're now racing a toyota now instead of the chevy which uh a little bummed out about i did want to stay with uh chevy but i guess it's all right but i will go ahead and see you guys at the race uh, this car is like painfully slow horrible 39th at least we're not 40th wow i wonder who got the pole probably junior austin dillon wow okay so at least we didn't get 40th, and that's good. And I will see you guys at the race. This is Rick Allen for NBC Sports. Tonight we're live from Daytona International Speedway for the Coke Zero 400, powered by Coca-Cola. It's a warm, muggy 4th of July weekend, but the skies are clear, and we're ready to kick off the second half of the season. Tonight we go 160 laps under the lights. NASCAR on NBC is next. We'll take it from here. Set. The race is going green. Ah, deep the breath. Line. Man, I didn't even get on the gas. I wasn't even paying attention. I won't get I was too busy focusing on breathing. You know, I seen like this interesting graphic that somebody posted about how the graphics in this game are worse than some other games. And to a point, I think that is true. Like if you look at um I think it was they showed NASCAR 2009. During the day, I feel like this is the best looking NASCAR game Offer. to date, especially during the day, because how the, uh, just how the sun reflects off the cars, it's unlike anything we've seen in a NASCAR game before. But at night, I think that's where this game really does struggle at, because you can't even see the lights we're going by reflecting off the cars at all. And like NASCAR 2009, a game that's eight years old, could do that. And this game doesn't do that. So I feel like the daytime model for the cars is awesome. The way it interacts with the, like, the uh, weather and stuff around it and the sun. But as far as the night model goes, freaking just horrible, man. It looks like the cars don't even belong on the track. They look really cartoony. So just a little little tidbit there. I thought it was interesting. And yeah, we just cannot get going anywhere right now. Finally, we get to the bottom. So we can't get something going here now. Still there. Or else Ellis is just gonna hold us All up. Right. Ooh. I think I got into Ellis a little bit there. I got crazy loose going into the corner. Come on, Jones. Now this car is really slow, but I'm telling you. In the draft, this thing is crazy fast. They could be half the straightaway ahead of me, and this thing will sucker right up to them. It's crazy. But by itself, it's it's dead slow. Let's see, if we can't make a move on him really quick. Give us a net. Newman, you stay up there. Holy crap, we are getting bumped. 
Oh man. Newman got us into us. Newman got into us pretty hard there. Somehow we save it. Still there? Car high. You try to pump Truex up. Hold your line. Oh my god, we're just all bottled up right here. This is crazy. Get underneath Edwards. Finally, it opens up. Stay low. Stay Holy there. crap, who was that? Kane? Car high. Of course, my freaking nemesis. All clear. Absolutely just smacked the crap out of us. See, we can't catch this pack ahead of us. Still there. Oh my Come god, we're in 19th? Left. This is crazy. I'd be happy finishing right here. Stay low. Still there. Stay low. Still there. We have what, just like seven laps to go? If we can make it into the top 15, that'd be awesome. Not sure if we can catch these guys, Stay though. All right, they are pulling me right now. So we just need to pass three of these guys. Clear and get a sweet run on the outside. Still there. That was a great lap. That's what I'm saying, man. In the draft, this thing's like a Still rocket. All clear. All right, just got to pass Elliot, and we're in the top 15. And if we can catch that pack ahead of us, we might be able to get into the freaking top 10. Let's see, we can't get a run off this corner. Still there. You got the draft off somebody. I don't know if it's Boyer up there or who. are able to clear bush. The car is getting really, really loose. Now I'm starting to get bogged down. I do have their draft though. Oh my god, we're actually catching them. Where are we at? We're in 14th. Maybe guys, maybe. Holy crap, I can't believe we're catching them. So we have, okay, five to go. I'm happy finishing here, so I'm not going to do anything stupid to jeopardize that. Jeopardize that. That is the right word. Okay. Let's see, we just get on the inside of Almondinger here. Hello, Majestic Sniper. Seems like all my videos recently, like this one and Outlast, he's been popping up. Okay, four to go, four to go. Not sure who to go with here. Guess we're gonna go with Boyer. Don't want to take it three wide. Still there. Which is what my car is trying to make me do. Still there. Still there. Okay, I was hoping I could push him by Logano. Ooh, got into the gun a little bit. Carlo. Okay, lost a little bit of speed there. Carlo. They are really buttoning it down on the bottom. Carlo. 
Yeah, I made just a bad decision there. I should have stayed down low. We've just lost all this Still momentum there. now. Here you go. Still there. Car low. Okay, lost lost a lot of spots there. We got two laps to go still, hoping to make it back up into the top fifteen. Stay low. Still there. Um, but I don't think a top ten's gonna happen now. All clear. So let's just stay to the bottom, play it conservative. Like we should have done when we caught those guys. Still there. Takes us a while to get this car wound up. Clear low. Okay, we gotta run the outside of Truex. Still there. We might be able to get by him, but I don't see us going much farther than that though. Still there. No, he's gonna be able to get by us. Maybe we can get by him. Oh. That's worth a few points. I can't tell. <laughs> what plates is he running in? It's like the Daytona 500 all over again. 88. Okay, so good news is we met all our sponsor requirements in the top 15 and top 20. Almost got a top 10 out of that. Probably could have if I didn't mess up there at the end. Wow, that finish was close. He did get me by six one thousandths of a second. So who won? Was it Austin Dillon? Denny Hamlin and Junior finished second. I'm telling you, man, Junior is tough in this game. 23 grand plus 12 and a half. Oh, man, we got good money. Look at that. Awesome. So this is just crazy. Johnson has six wins. Junior has three wins. So we went up a spot. So this does make me feel good, though, for the chase. Because we do have to go to Talladega for the chase. So I feel like by then, with this new upgrade we're about to get, we can get a top ten at Talladega. I really feel like we can. So next race is Kentucky, and we have just enough to get this too. So let's go ahead and buy this engine specialist. Ooh, I can't have that. Awesome. So we need 350,000 just to get that. After that, it really starts getting crazy as far as upgrades go. Good deal. So next race is at Kentucky. I'm not sure how we're going to do there. Um, it's kind of, I guess, kind of like Las Vegas, just a little bit flatter. It's hard to explain how it is there. It's just a big flat track, kind of like Atlanta and Charlotte, just flatter. So I'm really excited about seeing how we can do there. I'm really looking forward to it. There is a lot of grooves there that we can run. So I feel like we'll be able to get spread out pretty quick, and then we can start moving up. So we'll see how we do there. But thank you guys for watching so much during this video, and uh, I'll see you in Kentucky.